Open your project and import two clips. Make sure you have two beats in between and make sure your second clip starts at beat one. Click on the plus icon on the bottom right and add a rectangle. Click on the three dots at the top and click Fill Composition Area. Click on Effects and add a grid. Increase the spacing and also add gesture offset so you get four grid placements in the middle. Now add another rectangle and zoom it in. Duplicate the rectangle and copy the same progress for the other three. And now add just all of their colors. Delete the rectangle with the grid. And now for these four, add just their duration. Click on the plus icon and click circle. Click on the three dots and click fill composition area. Now go to Move and Transform, go to Scale, and add keyframes at the start and second beat. At the start, zoom in your circle so that it covers the entire screen completely. And add a mid-graph in between. Click on the three dots and copy the curve. Now, add another circle. Go to Move and Transform. Go to Scale and add keyframes at the start and second beat. On the second keyframe, zoom in your circle a little bit. And at the start, make it scale zero and then paste the curve in between. Now select the two circles and click on the third grouping option at the top. Select the four rectangles and click on the first grouping option. Move it underneath your first picture. Hide the circle, and now go to the picture and add opacity keyframes at the start and second beat. On your second keyframe, make it zero. And paste the curve in between. And now unhide the group and select the group with the two layers and click on the middle grouping option at the top. Hide your second photo for a bit. Go to the group and add rotation and scale keyframes at the start and second beat. On your second keyframe, zoom it out and rotate it. Paste the curves in both properties.
press and hold on the group and click on the first grouping option at the top. Now, add rotation and scale keys on the first beat and end. On your second key, zoom it in and rotate it. And paste the curve in both properties. Now, duplicate this layer, and on the one on the bottom, adjust the scale on the second keyframe. And also adjust its opacity. On this second group, you can also change the rotation. And now, unhide the second photo and adjust its position so that it's in the middle like this. Now, Add scale keyframes at the start and end. At the start, make it zero. And paste the curve in between. Now, add flip layer. Add angle keyframes at the start and end. And at the start, Rotate it so that it's 90 degrees. And paste the curve in between again. Go to light source and turn it on. And make sure the shine is zero. If you want to add cooler effects, you can also add a long shadow and increase its size. Lastly, on the first beat, add a text. Paste your information and make the font Arial. Click on this button on the top left and also drag the green button. Add just the duration of your text and make sure that it's in the middle. Now adjust the color. Add position keys on the text at the start and end. At the start, move your text down and paste the curve in between. Lastly, add a rectangle at the start of the entire project. Click on the three dots and click Fit Composition Area. Make sure that you adjust the duration and then select all of the layers and click on the middle grouping option at the top. Now go to the group and add scale keys on beat one and end. And on the second key, zoom in your layer and paste the curve.
You can also add a zoom keyframe at the start and add this ease out graph. 